Uh, players, we have breaking news. Marketing Mark Meadows has taken another L. Baby, his ass is headed to state court in Georgia. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat, honey, because the Court of Appeals has spoken bigly. So the Federal Appeals Court has rejected Marketing Mark Meadows' efforts to move his Georgia election subversion case to the federal court. Oh, yes, 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 honey. It's true. The Federal Appeals Court denied Marketing Mark's efforts to move his RICO case to the federal court, honey. And baby, they did it swiftly and expeditiously. They heard those oral arguments on Friday. <laughs> and on Monday, they returned them back to the center, honey. They said rejected and denied. <laughs> the ruling, the three-judge panel said that the appeal requires us to decide whether Marketing Mark Meadows may remove his state criminal prosecution to federal court under the federal officer's removal statute. We affirm and agree with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office that the federal officer removal under Section 1442 does not apply to former federal officers. And even if it did, the events giving rise to this criminal action were not related to Marketing Mark Meadows' official duties. All three judges agree, but the two Democratic appointees on the panel wrote a separate opinion urging Congress to amend the removal statute so that it applies to former officials. Uh, the two judges warned of hypothetical in which more than a dozen states could try to prosecute top administration officials over policy disagreements. The officials would have no guarantee that a federal court would hear their defenses after leaving office. Damn, Marketing Mark Meadows, I declare, honey, what a disgrace. You thought you was going to get in a federal court, but baby, they tapped that hand real quick and said, go on back down to the state court. We don't want to deal with this shit. So I'm pretty sure Marketing Mark Meadows is going to appeal likely all the way up to the Supreme Court. So it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out in the Washington and the ranching of this. Y'all know your girl Double D is going to stay on top of it. So make sure y'all stay tuned for the Black Accurate News.